Good morning, good morning, good morning, and welcome to the Flow Church service with Bishop Dag Hewitt Mills, our Flow Church pastor. Uh, it's 7 a.m. GMT here in Ghana, but you're welcome, and, and, and it could be any time, wherever you are, but you're welcome, and God bless you for joining. Uh, why don't you go ahead and like and comment, tell us where you're flowing from, tell us what time it is, where you are. Yes, yes. It's, uh, we're going to be blessed with a powerful word of God today. I'm sure there's going to be a particular word for you in your life right now. So, and also for others. So make sure you're sharing. Make sure you share with someone. Share with someone new. Share on your WhatsApp page, your WhatsApp status. Share on your Facebook page. Share with all your chats, all your friends, all your family. Yes, even those people who don't know Christ, you're, you're, you're basically a, a, an online evangelist sending the link to those people who don't know Christ. So, yes, I'm sure you're going to be blessed. God bless you. God bless you for joining. Yes, share on Instagram, share on Snapchat, TikTok. Yes, we're going to be so blessed today. I'm very, very excited. I'm very, very excited for what the Lord has for us this morning. Yes. You're welcome. You're welcome. I want to see you in the comments. Please comment where you're from. Comment comment what time it is where you are. Type, type, I'm flowing. We are flowing. We're flowing together. And it's our Flow Church Services Sunday. So I want us to prepare our hearts for a time of prayer and a time of speaking to God, a time of speaking and opening up to the Lord together and also a time of the Word. So why don't we go ahead and get into our time of prayer. What a blessing, what a blessing, what a blessing. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, God is so good. God is good. God oh, yes. is good. Is, is God not good oh, on YouTube? Yes. Is God not good on Facebook? Type God is good. God Hallelujah. Is good. What a blessing. What a blessing. Well, if you are connected this morning, I just want you to know that something good is going to happen to you today. Something good is going to happen to you today. So, whilst you, we are getting ready to pray, those of us who are on Facebook, I need you to help me to share the link on your, on your Facebook story and Facebook page, okay? Yes, your news feed or your wall. So, let's do that quickly on all different platforms. Let's do that. I'm going straight to the Flow Church platform and then that's where I'm going to share. I'm going to copy the link and put the link on my story and also put the link on my on my wall, my news feed. Okay, so let's do this together. God bless you as you do that. God bless you. I would like to speak and pray for a special blessing for everyone who is sharing this morning, sharing the link this morning. And putting the link on your Facebook page and wall, Facebook story. Now, when you when you are done with that, kindly put it on your WhatsApp status as well. And I want to pray a special prayer for you this morning. For this that you are doing, you deserve a miracle. You deserve a blessing. So quickly, let's do that. And we are coming on to pray. Because it's a good day. It's a blessing. So let's share. Share everywhere. Oh, yes. Yes. Put it on your news feed or your wall. And then, and then create a story. Create a story with the, a link. With a link. Yes. How do you create a story? When you tap on the story, you see different... Um, instructions. Tap on the text. Tap on A. You see, 
capital E and small e, text, tap on the text. And then you will see, start typing. Just paste. Paste the link there. Yeah. And then after that, you tap or you press on done. And then after done, the last thing is the blue share button down there. You, you tap on it. And guess what? You have just shared the link on your Facebook story. As, as easy as that. So God bless you. And then WhatsApp status. Yeah. Share on your WhatsApp status as well. God bless you. Heavenly Father, thank you. Thank you for everyone with us this morning who is sharing. Sharing. Who is sharing. I want to speak the blessing of Isaiah 58 over your life. The Bible says that your righteousness shall go before you. This week, as we are about to step into another week, every one of you who shared, you have gone out of your way to recommend Flow Church service online. May God touch people's hearts to also recommend you at the place where you need a recommendation most in the name of Jesus Christ. May God touch people's heart everywhere, anywhere you will need a recommendation because you recommended, you shared this link for others to know that something is going on. May God touch people's heart. People you don't even know and in meetings where a recommendation may be very critical, you will be recommended. Your business will be recommended. Your name will be recommended. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We want to begin to pray this morning and thank God, bless his name. There's a scripture that has quoted it from 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 26. 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verse 26 is about speaking in tongues. But Paul says that there is something that happens when we speak in tongues. That's verse 16, sorry. When we speak in tongues and there is something special about it. So this morning, we want to begin to pray and bless the Lord in the thanks or thanks or bless in the spirit. The verse 17 says, Thou givest thanks, eh? Thou verily givest thanks well. Hallelujah. This morning, we want to give thanks well by blessing the Lord with the Spirit, wherever you are. Lord, I am grateful for this moment. If you don't pray in tongues, if you don't speak in tongues, pray with your understanding and say, I bless you, Lord. I bless you, Lord. I give thanks, Lord. If you pray in tongues, if you speak in tongues, begin to pray in tongues and bless with the Spirit. 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 So funny, baby. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Oh my soul. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Worship His holy name. Go so do the same. And go for the love of the like never before. Oh my soul. Worship Your holy name. Go so do the same. Go for the love of the Lord. And you're slow to your name is great and your heart is kind for all your goodness I will keep on saying ten thousand reasons for my heart to with the spirit alimokoso so Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord with your soul, your spirit. Bless the Lord. Bless the 
For thou verily givest thanks well. And so give thanks well this morning by praying and blessing the Lord with the Spirit. I bless you, Lord. I bless you, Lord. I give thanks. I give thanks. I give thanks. I give thanks. So baby, the road of the Billy Koso, the Lolo Bobo Bolo, O Rababa, give thanks, give thanks with the Spirit. If you don't pray in tongues, if you don't speak in tongues, bless the Lord with your understanding, with your language. Say thank you to Jesus. Say thank you to the Lord. Worship is holy day, worship is holy day. Oh, la basso da balabara de le. He la gapara duna masanda le babalaba. Pako roto balabra de ke baladi. Lungo suma de ne me ne ne me ne ne be. Oru bo 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 roto su. Alabra sande le be le le le. Worship your holy name. Worship your holy Bless the Lord with your spirit. 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 Bless the Lord with the Spirit. Bless the Lord with the Spirit. Oh, giving thanks. For thou verily givest thanks well. Oh, yes, oh, yes, oh, yes, because I have no man taking yes, 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 I am a dose, 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 I am a we bless your name. La bobo kono do sora baba. La babo rodo do bo sandele bebe de de ba. Blessing, speaking tongues, pray the spirit. Ya pasada ba do de de de. Le bobo rosa. On YouTube, bless the Lord. On Facebook, bless him with the spirit. 
with the spirit with the spirit with the spirit Bless him with the spirit. Bless him with the spirit. I feel the spirit. I feel it. I sense it. Lord of Ogosa. Lama Bole Vinibia Tecapa. O Lord Rasie. Gedele. 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 Mando do 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 do. Lama Babo do 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 do. Oh. Give thanks this morning. Give thanks this morning. Give thanks with the spirit. Bless with the spirit. Bless with the spirit. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Bless the Lord, bless him, give thanks. Thank you, Lord. Lando Lobo Sandele Soro Bobo Bolo Bobo Bobo Lama Bobo 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 Ah, yeah, yeah, bless him, bless him, bless him. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for such a powerful time in your presence, Lord. Father, we have seen that you've begun something great this morning, and we are happy and excited to receive the wonderful things you have in store for us this morning. Lord, touch our hearts, soften our hearts, that we may receive the great word yes. that you have for us this morning. Yes. Yes. We worship you, Lord, yes. and we praise you in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thanksgiving. And everyone said and typed, Amen. Amen. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Put your hands together in your home, in your kitchen, <laughs> wherever you are. It's a blessing. It's a great time. In his presence, you love being in the presence of the Lord. Oh, yes. I love it, too. And you are welcome from all over the world. Um, all of you all the way in Asia, all of you all the way in Australasia, mm. all of you all the way in Europe, all of you all the way in Africa, all of you all the way in North America, yeah. and all of you all the way in South America, you are welcome to 
church service happening on a Sunday morning yeah. here, um, 7 a.m. GMT. And you are welcome. You are welcome here. And I want to I want to encourage you right here as you are watching this very powerful and blessed service to share share the link. Share the link on every platform because the Lord has something important to tell you and to tell somebody that you know. So I want to encourage you that at this point, share the link um, in the Flow Church. As you know, one member, 10 shares. So make sure you're sharing. Make sure you've begun your 10 shares. I know by now you should be on three. I mean, after all of this time, you should be sharing everywhere. So so continue to share. Make sure that this service doesn't end without you. Um, sharing at least 10 times Hallelujah. but i see everybody i see you all from all around the world i see come please keep keep sharing the link to everybody that you know in cambodia um, and everyone you know in the other um, countries near near cambodia and southeast asia share it to those in philippines share it to those in um, and where else do you know in, in southeast asia vietnam ah. in thailand in laos laos you know we have some flow church members in laos i hope you are watching if you are watching share the link share the link share the link because somebody is going to this morning by what the lord has in store for them i'm sure you agree with me every time we have a flow church service the lord does mighty works mighty oh works. yes and today the lord is about to do something fantastic you know i i, I want i really need you to share the link because the lord has a, somebody's life today he has a word that's going to affect somebody's life today so you want to make sure that you are sharing the link there's somebody who's at home today because they are they are they are not well they are ill and they have not been able to go out or they've not been going out for a while share the link with them because i know that today that they are going to receive their healing i'm telling you i'm telling you ahead of time i'm telling you ahead of time so make sure that that person who's sick i believe don't just leave them to sleep in the bed share the link with them let them to your hospital let them put on flow the flow service so that as they are there it's playing in the background and i believe that their healing is going to be sure hallelujah. this morning yes. hallelujah Amen. oh yes please continue to comment come continue to like we are here we are they're always saying making oh, yes. comments and so on it's the same with you at home continue to comment because we are in church and the Lord is blessing us Hallelujah. here. Hallelujah. Yes, and the Lord is going to continue blessing us right now as it is time offering. What a blessing. So, it's time for when it's time to offer or time to give the Lord an offering, it's actually a time for you to be blessed. Amen. So, wow. let, let me help you be blessed this morning. Help me. Right, you know, the Lord, me. the Lord says he loves a cheerful giver. That's right. Oh, yes. And I mean, we are usually we are usually happy about the fact that the Lord loves a cheerful. We've forgotten that He says He loves, even if it was the love alone. The love, love is love is a very powerful thing. It means oh, that the love of God yes. falls onto you when you are a giver, Come on, especially hallelujah. a cheerful giver. So Come as you are at home, on. wherever you are, all around the world, I want to encourage you that you know, let's provoke God's love this morning. Come on, let's provoke how He feels about us. You know, sometimes when when you have somebody um, around you that's maybe you are starting to like or you love them but you're you not sure if they love you, you get it. back you know because mm. that's that's one of the problems in this world one of them. to love somebody but they don't love you I back tell you. <laughs> oh yes yes yeah. there's a beautiful song which says the more oh, oh yes wow. in case you don't know that song um first love music you'll find it right Fantastic. there but the problem is that you love somebody but maybe they don't love you back so people start to do things that provoke that try to provoke the person's love on you. In case you're not sure if God loves you or not, let's provoke his love Hallelujah. this morning. And let's provoke his love by giving a very good, good offering. That's right. So, wherever you are at home, the details are on your screen right now. Give a good offering unto the Lord. Nothing is too... I hear that most of the time people say nothing is too small for God. Mm. But I want to say this morning, nothing is too big on, for God. Hallelujah. It's not too big for God I at all. I love it. So wherever you are in this world, take out a good offering. It is true though that nothing is too small for God either. So take out a good offering if you are in Ghana. The mobile money number is up. You can send a mobile money transfer. You can also send a bank transfer. Um, the details are on your screen right now. Do not be left out. I know I know you have the number already on your phone, so you can just go directly to it. You've saved it, yes. By now, you should have saved it on your phone as mm. Flow Flow Church Offering or Flow Offering or however it is that you remember. Yes. Yes. And send a powerful offering. So, somebody needs to send 
um, a thousand CDs this morning. Somebody yeah. needs to send a hundred CDs this morning. Yeah. So, so get on with it right now in case you don't see how to give by your in Ghana, you can also type into your browser flowoffering.com and I believe you'll find exactly how to give. If you are not in Ghana, you can also give and you must also give. Yes. The Flow Church is not about physical location, it's about spiritual location and by the grace of God, we've been allowed by technology to all be around the world but to be in the same place at the same time. So whether you're in England, whether you're in um, Australia, whether you're in South Africa, whether you're in Switzerland, whether you're in America, oh, whether yes. it's North America or South America, maybe you're in Mexico, you're watching me right now. Maybe you're in Argentina. Argentina, you've just won the Copa America. Ah. Look, you, you must also still okay. give your offering. Maybe you're in Kenya. <laughs> maybe you are in Russia or you're in Ukraine. Wherever you are right now, it's time for you to take out Oh, yes. A good offering for the Lord. Hallelujah. So the details are on your screen right now. Use these details to send an offering. Do not be left out in this. I shall not be left out. Do not be left out. You know, when something good is happening, the worst thing you can do is to be left out. You must, you must plug in. When something is already working, you must join yourself to it. Yeah. Till you here in the Flow Church. So... Don't be left out. Join yourself to it. Join yourself to it. Yes. And I believe the great things that the Lord is doing in this flow church will also begin to transfer into your personal life in the name of Jesus. Yes. Amen. Yes, amen, I see amen. you. I see you all the way in Malawi. I see you all the way in Rome, Italy. Uh, buongiorno. Um, bienvenue. Um, what else is there? You know, I speak many languages by the grace of God. You know, if you're in the flow church, you, you must speak a lot of languages. Yeah. Yes, yes. You must be international. You have to speak a lot of languages. Yes, yes. Bu Buenos Dias. Dombreviche. Yes. <laughs> Yesterday I learned Zia. Yes, that's what they say in Hungary. Wow. Yes. Zia. Yes. I think that means hello or hi or welcome or something like that. <laughs> yes, but I see you all the way in Gambia. Wow. Also, welcome. I hope you are giving a good offering wherever you are. Um, God bless you. God bless you for joining us all the way from, I believe that's supposed to say Doncaster. Come on. Yes. All the way from Doncaster. Fantastic place. Yes, it's, it's a typo, but it's, it's Doncaster. <laughs> it's a fun place. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. God bless you all. So, so, so make sure you're, I'm saying, I'm talking all this time just to give you the opportunity to um, switch to the uh, money transfer app and to give that good offering this morning. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's, let's pray over our offerings. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you, thank you, thank you for this great opportunity for us to partake in the great work that you're doing here in the Flow Church this morning, Lord. Father, you see our offerings, you see that it's from our hearts. Lord, we pray that you who sees in secret, Lord, you will, you will reward us openly, Lord, according to what we have also give, given. In the name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. And everybody said, Amen. 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 Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, give your offerings. It's, it's not too late. Continue to give your offerings. And I want to encourage you that um, whenever it is that you are watching um, this wonderful service, because in the Flow Church, some people watch it live and some people watch it after live. You know, there are two places, there's live and there's afterlife. Just in the same way, in every life, there's life and there's afterlife. Wow. Here, there's also life and there's afterlife. Yes, sometimes it's even more blessed to be in the afterlife. But it's, it's fantastic to be in the life. Whenever you're watching this after live, next week, tomorrow, next year, please also give your offering. Give your offering, give your offering. As, as long as there is life and as long as the flow church is alive, yes. it means that the offering lines are also alive. So please give a good offering yes, yes. no matter when you are watching. Beautiful, beautiful. I see you, Wang, Wang Me, all the way from New Zealand Christchurch. Thank you for joining us, Wang. Thank you for joining. Um, I believe that's Ireland. Is that Ireland? No, or is it Cote d'Ivoire? I don't know. They look the same to me. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's difficult because we are from all over the world, you see. I think it's Cote d'Ivoire. I see you all the way from Newcastle, Sten Bikizo, or Sten Bin Cozy, sorry. Stem Binkozi, all the oh. way from Newcastle. Thanks for joining us. Tammy, Tammy Smart Abbey, thank you for joining us. 
dear um, Edith Poku. That's my pastor. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Thank you so oh, much for joining us. Top, 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 All the top, way top, from top. Doncaster. All the way from Leicester. I see you, beautiful Boatima. I believe your first name is beautiful. If not, it's, it's, it's a... It's a blessing. It's a blessing. <laughs> I see you all the way from Vanuatu. Oh, oh yes, Vanuatu, the wow. islands. islands. The islands shall wait for Come thee. Come on now. Hallelujah. Thank you for joining us, Wilson, all the way from Vanuatu, and to Daniel, all the way from Cardiff, Wales. Wow. Oh yes, you know, the United Kingdom is made out of three or four countries. It's made out of England. It's yes. made out of Scotland. Yes. And it's made out of Wales, and then it's made out of Northern Ireland. Yes. Yes, so Daniel in Cardiff is all the way in Wales. Wow. Thank you for joining us, Daniel. Thank you, Dove Eyes, all the way from Antigua. Wow. Oh, yes. Last week we were in Antigua, I believe. And um, through the flow, we were in Antigua. Mm. Um, so thank you so much, Dove Eyes, for joining us from Antigua. Dove Eyes. Yes, yes, yes. Kelvin, Kelvin, all the way in New Zealand. Um, Ramaka, all the way from Aberdeen. Anita, all the way from the Great Ghana. Kwame all the way from MK, which I believe is Milton Keynes, my hometown. On, God bless no. you. The best place to be. Wow. Yes, 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 yes. Wow. Obed all the way in Indonesia. Akowas from Huddersfield. Pino from Kenya. Mm. Francisca from, well, wonderful if it's a place. <laughs> Uduma from Aberdeen. <laughs> Ethiopia, the genie from Ethiopia. Um, um, so many people. So put your hands together for yourself. <laughs> Oh, yes, Switzerland, Belgium. You know, there are so, so many people. I see MK once again. Andy from MK is the best place to be. But anyway, okay. Nottingham, Nottingham is also there. God bless you all yeah. for joining yeah, yeah, the yeah, Flow yeah. Church service. I'm glad you are here. I want to remind you, like I said a little earlier, there's somebody who's sick, somebody who's ill. They need today's service. So make sure you get, get it. You know, sometimes when people are not well, they, they, they don't go to church or they stop going to church. Yeah. And then for some people too, their illness is it's a long-term illness. They don't go, they, they are ill for five weeks, six weeks, three years. So help them out. Introduce them to the flow church. Tell them that every time they are just there alone, because there are a lot of lonely people in hospitals, a lot of lonely people at home who are ill. Tell them that they can connect to the flow church and they will be blessed and they will be healed in the name of Jesus. I see from Liberia, I see so many people from all around the world, from America, Ricky, all the way in America. God bless you. I see Sierra Leone. Yes. Oh, fantastic. You know, fantastic. If, I, if I'm to follow these, um, um, all, all of these comments, you know, we will not leave this place. I know I'll come back to it. I see Rome, I see Rochdale. Mm -hmm. Everybody is here. Everybody is here. And thank you so much for tuning in this morning. Well, right now it's time. It's time for the word, as my good friend used to say. Hallelujah. It's time for the word. Time for the word. Oh yes, it's time for the word, and I know you're excited. excited. Don't worry. Don't don't be afraid. I'm not the one bringing the word. Oh. I'm I'm bringing you the person, the anointed person who is bringing the word. You know that everybody has their place. There are those who who preach the word, and there's all those who also introduce those who preach the word. And I'm telling you, you see, the, the, there's a great book called The Art of Following. It says you can follow a great person by following a person who follows the great person. Come on now. Yes. So you can watch a great person by first watching a person who's about to watch a, a great person. Oh, yes. So right now, you know, we've reached my favorite part of the service. And I believe it's also your favorite part. My favorite preacher. You know, uh, my favorite preacher, my favorite part. My, oh, man, I'm so excited right now. And for the past few days or weeks, we have been in the Caribbean islands. Yeah. We, we've been around the world. There's a song mm, which wow. says, I've been around the world and I can't find nobody. Hey. Yes, yes, yes. It's, it's about God. It's, it's don't, about God. don't get it twisted. It's about God. Don't twist it. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I can't find nobody like you, Jesus. Come on now. Oh, yes. But you know, I mean, we've been around the world through the Flow Church in the past few weeks. And we're still going around the world Our Flow Church pastor, Bishop Dag Hewitt Mills, yes. is preaching to us, is coming, is coming directly to us from the islands once again. Oh. So, you know, I don't, I don't want to spoil too much of the surprise, but I want you to prepare your heart. I want you to sit back in your chair. I need you to switch on. If you still haven't done it, switch on your Bluetooth speaker. Oh, yeah. Yes, maybe you are still watching on your phone. You know, just stream it onto your 48-inch um, screen TV. 
time for us to settle in. It's time for us to relax. It's time for us to delve deep into the word with our anointed and our powerful Flow Church pastor. Oh, Brothers yeah. and sisters, I welcome today our Flow Church pastor, Bishop Dag Hayward Mills. Come Put on. your hands together, send some emojis, send some fire, come on, come on, come on. and be blessed. Second Thessalonians. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free course and be glorified, even as it is with you. Verse number two. And that we may be delivered from unreasonable and wicked men, for all men have not faith. All men have not faith. Amen. Amen. Now, I believe in miracles. Because I believe in God. Not everybody has faith. So when I say because I believe in God. I mean because not all men believe in God. All men have not faith. All men have not faith. All men have not faith. So not everybody believes. And all men don't really believe in God. In a certain way. So I believe in miracles. Because I believe in God. I believe that there is a God. Alive. Somewhere. Amen. Amen. I cannot see him. But I can see the evidence. Of God. The evidence of God. This world is so fantastically arranged. Romans chapter 1 and verse 20 says, are you with me? Romans chapter 1 verse 20. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen. Being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. Charge diversion, please. Charge diversion. For ever since the world was created, people have seen the earth and the sky. Though everything God made, through everything God made, they can clearly see his invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature. So they have no excuse for not knowing God. Yes. I believe in miracles because I believe in God. I believe in God because I see the evidence of God everywhere. Romans 1.20 if somebody ever asks you, so what about the people who never hear preaching and never have a pastor or a preacher to come to them? The answer is always Romans 1 verse 20. This is the answer for everyone who asks that question. The answer is Romans 1 20. All right, don't forget it. What about those who never hear about Jesus, those who never have a chance to listen to preaching or read the Bible and what happens to them? This is the answer. Romans 1.20 Change the version to Amplified. Change the version to Amplified. For ever since the creation of the world, His invisible nature and attributes, that is, His eternal power and divinity, have been made intelligible and clearly discernible in and through the things that have been made his handy works so men are without excuse altogether without any defense or justification yes now his invisible nature and attributes are that is his eternal power and divinity have been made intelligible and clearly discernible and through the things that have been made is handy works. Now, when you look at yourself, okay, 
how fantastically you have been made. No two human beings are the same. Everything is so amazing. Now, if you are a real Christian, you will love nature. You must. If you don't love nature, you don't love God. Yes, because the nature, the fantastic things of this world are revealed or reveal God. Like if you go to somebody's room, somebody's house, and you enter the house and it's all scruffy, messed up, dirty, smelly bathroom, toilet not flushed for two days. There's wee-wee all over the place. It smells bad. When you go in there, all right, it gives you a revelation of the kind of person that is in there. True or not true? So, ever since the creation of the world, his invisible nature and attributes have been made intelligible and clearly discernible in and through the things that have been made by the things that have been made that he does. Change the version. Change the version, please. For since the, in the creation of the world, his invisible attributes, his eternal power, and the divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood through what has been made so that they are without excuse. Yeah. This is always, don't forget, Romans 1 to 8 is your answer. Anytime somebody asks you about these kind of things. Now, what are the things that have been made? I mean, the sun, the moon, and the stars tells you something about God. Nature, even just the human body. Like as you are sitting here, so many things are happening. Urine is dropping into your bladder. Pop, 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 drop by drop. As you are sitting here, you are making urine. Your feces are drying up as they are in there. Yes. Because when your feces came in there, it was liquid. It comes into your colon as liquid. And as it stays there, then water is pulled out and then it becomes solid. And so the longer it stays, the harder it becomes. And that is why when you, are, you don't use the bathroom regularly and then it gets harder and now it becomes like stones then as you press it and it comes out it um, pushes out the veins you see in your anus in there I don't know whether I'm talking to the right people or should, I, should I continue All right, all right. I will continue. So in there, where the pieces are coming out there, it's lined by veins, mucosa and then veins. So when you are very hard and you press, it, it makes the veins bulge and burst. And when they burst, Blood can come out. That's what we call piles. Hemorrhoids. Yes. So that is why it is not a good thing to be constipated in that way. And the more you are, the more you push. You shouldn't push. But when you push, it bursts the. So you can suddenly have blood all over. And that's what's called piles. That's what hemorrhoids. Are you understanding me? Yes. So everybody who is sitting here is drying out your feces. As we speak. Yes. Your heart is also beating 
on its own. It's decided its rate. The heart has its rate. 80 per minute. And if you are athletic, if you are an athlete, like you run, your heart rate will slow down. Yes. Your heart rate slows. So when you sit here, I can check your heart. And if your heart rate is, depending on your heart rate, I can know whether you are athletic. Yeah. Because if you are here and you are a runner, your heart will not be 80. Your heart rate will be like 50 or 40. And much lower. Because, because heart is getting ready for the running and when you start running you're going to need more oxygen so the heart will start pumping more because it's, it knows how to keep you okay at the rate of 40 or 50 mm. so when you start to exert it will just come up and then it's got a lot of capacity but if you're already 80 I mean, I mean there's not much, much space to go too fast yes Are you with me? Yes. Now, wow, I'm being blessed. Your heart, as I said, since the creation, his attributes, is the greatness of God. Since you were born, you know something? Your heart has never stopped working. Like it worked when you were born, it was like 120 a minute. And as you grew, it became a one year, two years, then it starts to slow, slow, slow. To come to about 80. Yeah. And it, each time it, it, it never stops. But if you run, right, you start to feel pain in your legs and you see that you have to stop because you can't, because your muscles are tired. But why is the heart never tired of this? Because it's a special type of muscle. Yes. Muscle, we don't usually eat the heart. That is a special type of muscle different from your skeletal muscle. It's called cardiac muscle. Wow. It's a special muscle. It never gets tired. Every time it squeezes, it has a mechanism that revives it instantly and goes back and then it's like it's fresh and it can go again. It can go again. And so till you are till you die at the age of 85 or whatever, it will never stop. Clap for God. I don't know whether you are not clapping for God. Yeah. He's great. Like, he's fantastic. And he can do many things at the same time. And your, your bladder, your bladder has a special muscle in it. Yeah. You see, when your bladder gets full, it, there's muscle in your bladder. That's why you feel like, and it push, puts pressure. That's why you feel like wee wee. All right. But there's a special mechanism in your bladder. It can stretch and then when it's tense it can just relax by itself yes and wait till you are ready to wee wee and then it will come back yeah. so you can have a wee wee in you for a long time it will just relax and be there and there's no other muscle in the body that behaves like that it stretches and then it can just relax and allow so you can see people that have not wee wee for even one week and they but yes Yes. Yeah. Hmm. And you wonder. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And if you are a mother, your breast will be bringing out milk. But if you are not a mother, your, bre your breast will never give milk. Yeah, no milk at all. And the day that you get a seed, and the day that you become pregnant, then the breast and glands begin to form inside the breast. The breast is instructed. Starts to develop. That's why the breasts get bigger when you are pregnant. You see a little, tweeny little breast like that and becomes a big, popo, a big, big kind of, yeah. Clap for God. I, I don't know if you are clapping for God. The 
Yeah. And as soon as you are born, uh, then the breast milk starts to come by itself. No baby, no milk. Magic. Magic. And then, as long as you are producing milk and your baby is sucking, uh, well, well, milk is coming and is sucking, when you suck, causes the, a message to the brain to send a message to the womb to contract. Yes. Listen. So when you suck, then it goes here and comes down to the womb. To help the woman to stop bleeding after she has given birth. So when a woman has a baby and the baby dies and she doesn't get a chance to suck, then she can bleed long for a long time after giving birth. I don't know whether you want to clap for God. Yes. Yes. It's fantastic. It's really fantastic. And as long as when you suck and you produce milk, it sends, once milk is coming, it sends a message to your ovaries. Do not release an egg. No egg. Because every month it sends a message to your ovaries. You are born with your eggs. You don't form them as you grow. Everybody is born with a shelf of eggs. Every lady is born with a, a set of eggs. You, know, you don't create more eggs. It's all set like, it's in like shelves of eggs. You come with it as a child. Yeah. And But every month, a message comes from here. Give one, please. <laughs> when you're going to have twins, it says, give one, give one, two. <laughs> twins. But as long as you are sucking the nipple and milk is coming, does not send, it will, it will block the message. Yes. That is why when a woman is trying to have a baby and she cannot have a baby, one of the things you may check is if she's having milk coming, it prevents her from producing the egg. Because some ladies have milk coming when they shouldn't have milk. Wow. I don't know whether you want to be happy about God's power and God's greatness. All these are happening at the same time. Now, some of you, some of you, right, you went good at 100 meters or 200 meters race in school. But I have some news for you. Ah, uh, do you want to hear the news? You are already a champion runner because, and the race that you won, how many want to know the race you won? When your father ejaculated. Yeah. 35 years ago. Yeah. 40 years ago. Yeah. There were 400 million other competitors. Who were going to find the egg. And you are the one who won the race. I mean you are a long standing champion. You are a winner. Long time ago. Yes. So everybody who is here has won a race before. Like I won a race years ago. I don't know how many we were, but we were in a tunnel and we were swimming. Hey! And I was going with all, all my strength. In champion. There was once there was. There was somebody, there was Richard on my left. There was John on my other side. There was Sammy on the other side. But Dad was the first to get there. Give the Lord a shout of hallelujah. Amen. 
So these people who laugh at you that you, you, you can't run, you can't jump, you can't do, I mean, you are a long-standing champion in the system. So you see, God has made you fantastic. Since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes, power, complexity, the greatness of God, the exactness, the fantastic maintenance of systems, and the complexities, like God is no, we, we, we can't even fathom who God is. Yes. That's why the Bible says, what is man that thou art mindful of him? Wow. One day I went to a funeral. Yes. The funeral took place on one day. But then the next day, they said, come for the burial. Yes. Not on the same day. So when we went on this, the next day, the person whose funeral we came to the day before, the person has been bent into ashes and was now in a bottle. The bottle was like a vase. It was a woman. So her husband held the vase like this and walked where they're going to bury him. What is man? His wife was in a bottle and he was just holding her and walking and he went and put it in the ground. That's all. That's what you are, dust. Why should God even look at you twice? Huh? When you are sprinkled out there, you just form part of the fertilizer. You are absorbed into the plant. A cow comes to eat part of the grass. The cow is killed and made into steak. And you end up on somebody's steak and potatoes. And they are, they are cutting. Hey! No, it's just too much. <laughs> so I believe in miracles because I believe in God. Amen. This is the God that I believe in. What is your best, what's your favorite car? Austin Martin. Wow. Is it a good car? I don't know Austin Martin. Any, any other car, please? Something less complicated. <laughs> I want something less complicated. Give me something. Mercedes, BMW. Yeah. Supposing I took you to the beach. Supposing I took you to the beach. St. Lucia Beach. All right. And where were we? Not what? Not not VG. What happens at VG? Is what? Burial ground. Oh. No, but suppose I took you to a beautiful beach. So Lucia Beach. When we got to this beautiful beach, and there you see a brand new, fantastic BMW just parked by the water. Right? Okay? And somebody tells you, this BMW came out of the water. We were there when it just came out. It was created by the water and it just came to the shore. And the waves brought it. It has a remote open, everything with a computer and all that. Would it not sound fantastic to you? That's why people say there's no God. And that we're just created from an explosion. Yeah. And something happened that you just, a complicated thing like a car, a BMW, was created by an explosion. Yeah. Somebody's got to be crazy. Yeah. 
Somebody's got to be crazy. How could you say this beautiful BMW just came, there was a fire, and then when the fire died, here was this beautiful car. Now, God is great. Now, there's a reason why they believe the Big Bang. Have you heard of the Big Bang? Like there was a big explosion and then something came. And it is because of the formula, E is equal to MC squared. Do you understand E is equal equal to MC squared? Put your art students, okay. Put the formula there, E is equal to MC squared. Yes, all these formulae exist from God. Yes, I'm waiting for your formula. E is equal to MC squared. I believe in miracles because I believe in God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Ah, E is equal to MC squared. Yes, but try to get something that looks nicer than this is not. I think it's an art student who is doing this art. But MC squared, what you're doing there? Get it in the internet, it's right there. Just ask. Yeah, Google it. You get a beautiful picture of this. E is equal to MC squared. Now, E, are you ready to? Uh, do you think the art students here will understand what I'm talking about? Because I don't want to confuse them. The art students, they only know how to paint. Now, E, if you want it to be simple, it means explosion. It doesn't really mean explosion, but you can take it to be explosion. Energy. M is mass, all right? Mass, like a, a piece of meat. And then C is the speed of light. Is it it? Squared. Okay, what's the speed of light? How do you understand the speed of light? When you see some of the stars, like Rigel, there's a star called Rigel, or there's another star called Betelgeuse. Some of these stars, aha, that she got it right. Some of these stars are like maybe 100 light years away, or 1,000 light years, which means that if it's 900 light years away, it means that you are seeing it what it looked like 900 years ago because it has taken 900 years for the light to come to the earth so when you see a star you are seeing the you are seeing the past yes you are seeing what the what happened 900 years ago yes that's that's how far it is yeah but anyway before you get completely confused what they are saying is that if you take mass, a little like a piece of meat here, and then you multiply it times the speed of light, that means you shake the piece of meat like this very fast, very, 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 very fast at this speed, it will turn into an explosion of energy. This is the atomic bomb. That's how they made the atomic bomb. This is a formula. This is Einstein's formula. Yeah. Yes. Anything that you can, if you can get it to shake or move at that speed, it will turn into energy. And then equally, if you can turn the energy, you can convert it, it can come back to mass times wow. the speed of light. Because this is equal to this and this is equal to this. 
So this is the explosion, and it gives rise to a piece of meat. That's a big bang. Do you understand? Yes. Now, do you know how much mass they used to make the first atomic bomb? They got a small piece of 600 grams. What 600 grams? Milligrams. 0.6 of a gram. 0.6 of a gram. That is what they, how much mass. And they were able to shake it and move it. And it became the explosion. That's the Hiroshima bomb. Yes. My God. Yes. You didn't know that? Yes. So, I mean, it's simple. It's just a simple formula. But So, what can you do to make this happen? That's the science. So, all these formulas exist. That is why when they recently pointed the new Hubble telescope into the sky at a dot, they saw many planets and galaxies that were expanding still and still forming. Yes. That they never knew existed. Because it's like there's power there. There's power. There's powers we don't know about. And that they keep on expanding. So the earth is a small dot in one little solar system which is part of many galaxies. So the sun actually, how many have seen the sun from Pluto before? Have you seen the sun before? Like from earth, you see the sun. If you look at the sun, you can bend your eyes. If you go back a little further, where will you go to Mars? Mars, and then you go further to Saturn, and then Jupiter. Then you keep looking at the sun. When you get further after Saturn, after Jupiter, and you look at the sun, do you know what you see? A star. The sun is a star. Yes, I saw a picture of the sun from there. It's just one of the stars. It's a dot. So the sun is actually our star, the nearest star. Yes. Wow. So how many suns are there? Yes. What a God. What a God. I think you can clap for God. So I believe in miracles. Because I believe in God. I believe in miracles because I believe in God. Now, recently, they measured one of the stars. They measured one of the stars. Like Betelgeuse, Regal, those stars. The big ones. They're really big. Do you want to know how big the star was? Shall I tell you how big the star was? When I tell you, will you understand how big the star is? Okay. I'll tell you. Does British Airways come to St. Lucia? Yes. Okay. You came on it tonight? British Airways? Okay. Now, when British Airways flies from London to St. Lucia and continues to go the other way, it will come all the way back to London by going around the earth. Do you know how long it takes? How long will British Airways take to go around? 24 hours and a little. It will go around the whole earth. Because from here to here, here to here, here to here, and back to there. About 24 hours flying. Now, if you take British Airways to Betelgeuse, a star, and it starts to fly around the star. Do you know? Yes, non-stop. Do you know how long it, t- it will take to fly? It takes 24 hours for the earth. Do you know how long it will take to fly across the star? I think you are feeling sleepy. I'll tell, I'll tell those in Martinique. I'm going to Martinique to tell the, the people that. I think I'm going to Martinique. Okay. How long does it take the British Airways to grow over the whole earth to go home? Do you know how long it takes to go over the beetle juice? 1,200 years. 1,200 years. 
Yes. Wow. I mean, that's, I just want to give you an idea of how big a star is. 1,000. Oh, you will give birth your grandmother, your grandmother, grandmother on the plane. Everybody will give birth and live for 80 years. Several generations before the British Airways is able to cross the whole star. 1,200 years. Just to, because if I tell you the distance, you will not understand. I will say many billion miles, you will not understand. But if I show you by British Airways flying, then it gives you an idea of how big is a star. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Amazing. Yeah. So God is very, very great. So I believe in miracles because I believe in God. I believe in miracles because I believe in God. Yes. The invisible attributes, the power of God is very great. God is very great. Yes. God is very That's why his angel can stand in the sun. Yes. And God is almighty. Yes. Almighty. God is well. God can make you live. He can make you die. I mean, I don't know how, but God has, God has put a timer in you. You see, there are many timers in your body. All that God does is that he just adjusts the time clock. Yes. He just, he just, he just adjusts the clock. He can just put 50 in the clock. You know, but you do that all the time. You have a stop, a stop watch and you, you, you put it and you set it for 40. And then when it's finished, then it's finished. Two minutes, it should be finished. Two minutes. Yeah. When he made man, we were living forever. When man sinned, he said, no, the day that you sin, you die. So man was up to a thousand years, because a thousand years is as a day, and a day is as a thousand years. Say, the day that you, you die, that you eat, you will die. So nobody crossed 1,000. Even Methuselah, 900 and something. Noah was 950. Nobody could cross 1,000. And then after that, he said, no, 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 I'm going to reduce your time. So people will reduce their ages, reduce, 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 reduce to 120. Then he reduced it to 80 and he says 70. Today, today, the average lifespan of a human being on the earth is 68 years in the whole world. Has reduced, it's reducing, reducing, reducing. It just timed us down. Yeah, it just timed us out like that. 68. That's a current worldwide age, like when you put everybody together. Yeah. It's wild. My God. It's wild. I mean, we are, we are nothing at all. Mm. Yeah. We are nothing at all. God is wild. God is wild. So God can heal you. Come on now. He can kill you. Yeah. He can shorten your time. He can lengthen your time. I mean, it's... it's it's really up to him. Yes. I believe in miracles because I believe in God. I believe in miracles because I believe in God. Yes. Yes. That's why Kenneth Hagin said when the Lord appeared to him, he said, always when somebody is sick, pray for the person. Because it brings the power of God into the person's life yes but without prayer you are just left with all the elements but prayer makes god to be involved no matter what it is yes and that is why no matter how skeptical you are as you grow like katrin kuba said one day you will need a miracle yes and you'll find that you start saying i believe in miracles because I believe in God. 
Oh yes. What a God we serve. What a God we serve. Yes. Look at us in this huge hall today, having a camp. It's a power of God. It's a power of God. It's a power of God. God can do anything. God can do anything. Yes. He can do anything. Yes. And so his power is here. He can change your life. Those of you who don't have beloveds, God is wild. Wow. God can send somebody into your life. I believe in miracles because I believe in God. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I believe in miracles because I believe in God. God is wild. God is wild. God is, God is, God is so great. You know, one day I was at home with my wife and I was watching a documentary. I mean, I was watching it. She was in and out. But do you know what? Do you want to know what documentary it was? It was. It was about. It was about the planets. Yes. So what happened was that in 1977, they sent a rocket to space, and it was going to uh, to Jupiter and Saturn and beyond. It's actually still on the move. Yes, it's been going since then. Yes. So for the first time in NASA, they had live pictures of Jupiter close by. You see, Jupiter, you can see Jupiter in the sky. I mean, you don't need a telescope to see Jupiter. It's right there if you have a chance. How many want to know how to see a planet in the sky? Yes, I'll show you if you remind me. If you are good, behave well, I will, I'll show you how to see a planet. But you see, there's a difference between a planet and a star when you look in the sky. Stars twinkle. Planets don't twinkle. That's the big difference. When you see one that's not twinkling, you say, ah, that's a planet. Yes. That's a big difference. Planets don't, planets don't twinkle. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Yes. Yes. Now, what was I telling you? Yes, the documentary. So, you they saw it in the sky, and we even feel the magnetic power of Jupiter on Earth. Yes, it's so powerful. Because Jupiter is like 1,000 of this Earth. Jupiter is as big as the sun. It's very big, but very far. Yes. People have always been interested in Jupiter. The moons around Jupiter are bigger than this Earth. They, it has about 58 moons. We have one moon. They have about 58 moons. Yes. God is well. But in 1977, they sent the first rocket and the, the rocket took pictures. When you see the pictures, you'll be amazed. I've never said, when I said, I said, why doesn't everybody believe in God? It's too fantastic. I don't know if you have those pictures. You can show the video. Yes. You, you will be amazed. I said, this is Jupiter. But what I was thinking is that for all these years, 
Human beings have never seen it before. It's only in 1977 that they, they, they saw it. And God doesn't care if you don't see. You are nothing. We are nothing. He doesn't care at all that people don't know and don't see how great he is and the great things that he has done. Yeah. So it's, it's really up to you whether you believe in God. You must decide to believe in God. And God can do anything that he wants to do. And this formula, you see, is one of the powers that exist in the universe that God has created, that men have discovered, like electricity. And this is power. There's power here. Power, creative power and destructive power. E is equal to MC squared. Fantastic. Fantastic. Wow. How many are excited about believing in God? Great God. Great God. Clap for God. Clap for God. Clap for God. What a blessing. You may be seated. I believe because I believe in God. Now, before we end, I want to ask you a question. If God is a real and powerful, why doesn't he just heal everybody? You get what I'm saying? Like, why doesn't he just heal everybody? Yes. You know, because, because, you see, like, you would say that, like, since God is so powerful and he's around and he's so wild, why doesn't he just go, so, okay, over, 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 everything, just take it. Yes. Because he's so great and so powerful. How many want to know why God does not just do all these miracles all the time? All right. Number one. Number one. God does not just heal everyone because only some people believe when they see miracles. Only some people believe. Not everybody is moved by miracles. Some people, America doesn't touch them. So God doesn't bother, like he knows that only some people believe when they see miracles. John 11 verse 45. Then many, not all, of the Jews which came to Mary and had seen the things which Jesus did. All right, then many. had seen the things which Jesus did, believed on him. Amen. Many. Not everybody. Many. Hmm. Number two, God does not do miracles because sometimes just a few people believe when they see miracles. John chapter 12 and verse 37. 37. But though he had done so many miracles before them, yet they believed not on him. Miracles? God could just walk into the St. Lucia General Hospital and clear out the whole place. You'd be surprised a lot of St. Lucia people would say, Oh man, I mean, this was, it was just a, you know, a wave and it was just a kind of virus that went off. And I mean... And St. Lucians are good at vitamins and, you know, they are very strong people and, you know, they, they've got a lot of immunity. Amazing. The Bible says, though he had done so many miracles before them, yet they believe not on him. Amazing. There was nobody like Jesus, and yet, they didn't believe in him. In fact, some people even hate you. Amen. 
when you do miracles. In John chapter 9, verse 15. Then there was a blind man who was healed. The, phar the Pharisees also asked him how he had received his sight. And he said unto them, he put clay upon my eyes and I washed. And I do see. Therefore said some of the Pharisees, this man is not of God. Because he keepeth not the Sabbath day. How can a man that is a sinner do such miracles? And there was a division. Amazing. Then said they unto the blind man, What sayest thou of him, he that he opened your eyes? What do you say about him? Any comment? And he said, He is a prophet. But the Jews did not believe concerning him that he had been blind and received his sight until they called the parents of him that had received his sight. And they asked him, Say, Is this your son who you say was born blind? How then does he see? And his parents answered him. And said, we know that this is our son, and that he was born blind. But by what means he now seeth, we know not. Or who has opened his eyes, we know not. He is of age, ask him, he shall speak for himself. These, sorry for left, these words spake his parents because they feared the Jews. For the Jews had agreed already that if any man did confess that he was Christ, he should be put out of the synagogue. Therefore said his parents, he is of age, ask him. Then again, they called the man that was blind and said unto him, Give God praise. We know that this man is a sinner. And the man answered and said, Whether he be a sinner or no, I know not. One thing I know, that whereas I was blind, now I see. Wow. <laughs> so you see, in spite of the miracle, a whole lot of people were ganging up against Jesus. It's amazing. That is why God doesn't bother to impress people. But when I was younger in the ministry, I always felt God would want to impress people by, you know, doing something. As I've grown, I realized that what is man that thou art mindful? You don't have to impress no man. Why hasn't God shown us Jupiter all these years? 1977, just recently, that we saw pictures of Jupiter. Nobody. Is this a video? There's a video where they fly by. I mean, just you see the real thing in, in life, you see it moving. This is uh, Jupiter, I think. Yeah. Amazing. I mean, look at a blind guy. He said, the man was blind from birth. Instead of everybody being converted and everybody saying, I mean, they, they, they said, give God praise. With this man, is a bad man. He's a sinner. They told him, give God praise. Confess that this man is a bad man. The man said, whether Jesus is a sinner or he's not a sinner, I don't know. What I know is that I couldn't see. And now I can see. Ah, I believe in God. I believe in miracles because I believe in God. Wow. So sometimes you'll be wondering, why God? Are you real? If you're real, move now. God, move now. Uh, God has been moving for a long time. People even get angry when he moves. They get even angry when he moves. They get angry when he moves. In fact, some people will even hate you. If you like, do a miracle and see. You do a miracle and see. Hmm. Hmm. John 15 verse 24. John 15 and verse 24. Amazing. Amazing. 
Are you amazed by this amazing scripture? He said, if I had not done among them, huh? The works which none other man did, they had not seen. But now they have both seen and hated me. Oh, God. They have seen the miracles which no other person has done. And what is the result? They both seen and hated both me and my father. No, it's serious. They saw and hated him. You see, you will think that God will move to impress people, to impress the crowd, or to do something so that everybody will see that God is real. God, long time ago, he stopped trying to impress people. Jesus said, look at it, John 15, verse 24. This is the Bible. If I had not done among them the works which none other person has ever done, mm. then they had not seen. But now they are both seen the works which nobody has ever seen and hated me and my father. This is the response to good works and to miracles. That is why God doesn't bother you know, you would think that when we pray for people, you know, the person should be, should be healed, should get up. One time I went somewhere, I was told somebody was dead. And I said, I'm going to raise the person. Hey! I said, God, be with me. <laughs> I went there to a hospital. Was my friend's father. That time I was in secondary school. Yes, I was in secondary school full zeal. And I said, God vindicate me. God approve of me. Acts 222. Put it up. Acts 222. Hmm. Ye men of Israel. Hear this word, Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God among you by miracles and wonders and signs. Oh God, approve of me by miracles, wonders and signs. I wanted God to approve of me on the basis of Acts 2.22 or Acts 2.22. Wow. Acts 2.22. When I got to the hospital, I entered the room. My friend's father was lying there. He had just died. They put a plaster on his chest and they tied his hands. I started to pray. He was not rising. <laughs> Act 2 2 2. Oh, yes. <laughs> then I remembered when Jesus went to raise Jairus' daughter. He sacked everybody from the room. Yes. So I told the nurse, now let's go out. I need the miracles. <laughs> And then I remembered when, so they, I closed, sat the nurse, everybody, then we were there. And I remember when Peter went to the temple, and the man was blind, the man was there. And he stretched out, he said, silver and gold have I not, what I have in the name of Jesus. So I said to my untie his hands. <laughs> oh yes oh yes and tie his hands and I held the man's hands as if I was shaking as if I was shaking his hand 
And I said, rise up in the name of Jesus. But he didn't rise. <laughs> oh, yes. I was a student. Yes. yes. I was a student. I was in secondary school. I had faith. And I expected God to move. As to to to. But he never, he didn't move. And I thought maybe he's disgracing, he's disgracing me or he's disgracing himself or something. God, it's a long time that he stopped trying to impress people. Do you know why the man is dead? Do you know why the man is dead? Yeah, you don't know. You don't know. You see, when you go to a prison and you see people in the prison, you can shout and say, in the name of Jesus, I'm here to release all captives. Luke 4 verse 18. I'm here to set the captives free. Do you know why the people are in the prison? Do you know what they did before they went there? Uh, do you know why they went there? And the things, the things that have made them to, to be in the prison. Many people who are sick, do you know why they are sick? Do you know what is happening when people are dead? Do you know why they are dead? You don't know. God has stopped trying to impress people. When I finished, I prayed. I was praying, rise. He will not rise. And I heard it. He said, rise, get up. Get up. He wouldn't get up. Hey. After some time, the nurses came back. I said, no, 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 no. It, uh, finish. We had to go. I told my friend, don't worry. God is with us. Yes. Your father will rise. But I was not discouraged. I've never been discouraged in serving God. No. A few weeks later, somebody came to tell me that a small boy has died at another area. I said, let's go. Yes. Oh, yes. I believe in miracles because I believe in God. not tell you what happened in this place. <laughs> you must never be discouraged serving God. You must never be discouraged. Many times people feel, you know, God will try to do something. If he does it, a lot of people will be saved. It's not true. People don't even change. They even hate you and they hate God. After the miracle has been done. Yes. Yes. They would think that when a woman doesn't have a husband and she gets one, she will be very nice to She will treat him as a special human being because when she didn't have a husband she was pining away pining away pining away mm. another time I went for a crusade yes a lady came forward she said her child was dead. She, she told me the child was dead. She took the child to the clinic. They said, your child is dead. And she brought the child to the crusade. She said, you leave the child. She said, no, no, I'll take my dead. She brought the dead body to the crusade. And the power of God came on the child. The child came alive. Yes! There's power here! Now, 
The next day, they brought more dead people. Yes. Because they have heard about it. So when I came the night, the next day, I came on stage. Then they came there. Come and see. There's a dead body here. So I got up from my chair. Because the stage was high. So you can't see the floor. So I got up and I walked to the edge of the stage. And there was a man with, covered with a bed sheet. Dead. He was dead on the floor there. For me to raise him. And I said, this one, I've seen one before. And I said, this type of thing. Are you listening or you are going home? does not heal everybody, number four, because people require different catalysts to help them believe. First Corinthians chapter 1 verse 22 says, for the Jews require a sign and the Greeks seek after wisdom. Some people are not moved by miracles at all. Some people are moved by wisdom. So that's why God doesn't even need to bother to heal. There are people, you do a miracle, say, I don't believe anything. Say, you know something, I don't believe in all these supernatural things. My mind cannot relate with it. I'm sorry. <laughs> what time are we closing? This? What time are we closing? I don't have time for this. Yes. The Jews, no, I'm not saying, I'm saying the person who doesn't believe in miracles, say, I need to go home, you know. <laughs> what time are we closing? All these miracles, it means nothing to me. For the Jews require a sign. I've preached many times where at the end of the preaching, people leave. They don't even want to wait for the miracle. And they, they, and they come again the next day. They want to hear the message. They don't, need, they don't need a miracle. It says the Greeks seek after wisdom. There's different types of people. And there are people who don't use their mind much. It just, they just believe in miracles. Yeah. Give us a miracle. That's all we need. Are you listening or you are leaving? Yes. That's why God doesn't bother. He doesn't bother. I say, Amen. I stopped bothering to touch people and to impress people. Oh, oh, oh. Then you don't know God. Number five, God does not heal everybody because God has determined that people should be saved by preaching. Yes. God has decided that people should be saved by preaching. 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 21. For after that in the wisdom of God, the world by wisdom knew not God. It pleased God that by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. Amen. Yes. The simplicity of preaching is the way that God has decided people will be saved, not through miracles. Preaching. Preaching. Simple preaching. Amen. Amen. And then, number five, six. God does not heal everybody because many people believe in the word of God without seeing Miracles. People believe in God without seeing miracles. John chapter 20, verse 29. Then Jesus said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. And yet have believed. You see, there's a whole lot of people, they don't see nothing. But they just believe. You are one of the great people that have not seen but yet believe. 
I believe in miracles because I believe in God. Amen. I believe in miracles because I believe in God. John 11 verse 45 and 46. Then many of the Jews which came to Mary and had seen the things which Jesus did, believed on him. But some of them went on their ways to the Pharisees and told them what Jesus had done. You see, some people, huh? the miracle of Lazarus rising from the dead was what even made them go to report to the Pharisees to come and kill Jesus. Raising somebody from the dead after four days, the response to it was not to love God and to believe in God. But the Bible says some of them went their ways to the Pharisees and told them what things Jesus had done. John 11 is when Lazarus was raised from the dead. John chapter 11. The reaction of some people to the greatest miracle ever performed was to go to recruit Pharisees to kill Jesus. Oh, you don't understand what I'm saying. So that shows you, are you with me? How amazing it is. Uh, you, that is why God doesn't bother to try to impress people with miracles. When I was younger in the ministry, I would want to, things to happen to you. I don't care. Now I don't, I'm not like that. I don't mind. It's different, yes, because it's nothing. People, are, those who will believe will believe. Those who will give, will give. Those who will love God, will love God. Whatever you do to a wicked person, it doesn't convince him. Can you believe you'd rather go and call Pharisees to come and kill Jesus as a result of raising somebody from the dead after four days? Ah, that's too much. It's too much. So I believe in miracles because I believe in God. God doesn't have to do any particular thing for me to believe in him. I believe in God. And I expect a miracle and I believe in miracles. Because I believe in the greatness of God that I'm serving. He is a great God. And he will never bow down to impress you or to impress anybody. Yes. Amen. Stand to your feet, everybody. Stand to your feet, everybody. Mm. Wow, wow, wow. I believe in miracles because I believe in God. What a powerful, powerful word. I mean, type in the comment section. I believe in miracles because I believe in God. That was such a powerful word. Um, were you blessed? I was extremely blessed. Oh, yes. What an amazing word. You know, I mean, uh, when, when um, our Flow Church Pastor Bishop Dagwood Mills was given the example of um, when he was in secondary school and he tried to raise someone from the dead, it reminded me of a similar situation. Hey, come on now. <laughs> it, wasn't that, it wasn't that deep. It wasn't that deep. I remember once I was in another country and somebody, somebody um, asked me to um, come and pray for his mother. So he took me to a house in a, in a, in a house somewhere. And when I went there, lying on the bed was this old lady, shriveled up, ready to die. And he said, pray for her. I don't know where his faith was from. Oh, yes. wow. But he really believed I could pray for the person. So I also decided, that, look, I, I will not let him down. God is with me. Oh, yes. And I prayed from the bottom of my heart with all the anointing and spirit in my body. I prayed for her. And, and we left her. About a day or two later, he sends me a message. He said, his mother is dead. <laughs> Mercy, mercy, mercy. But you know, but you know, to, to, I believe in miracles because I believe in God. <laughs> Similarly, just a few days later, a few days later, this same person called me again. And I said, ah, this guy, is he coming to beat me up or criticize me for killing his mother or what? But he said that now his uncle. <laughs> is, he, we believe in miracles because... We believe in God. He said that his uncle is not well. And it's like his uncle is trying to die or something. He needs me to pray for his uncle. 
And I, I, I won't lie to you, I was a bit surprised and I thought, oh, what's the point? You know, I've already taken one member of his, one member of his family. Now he wants me to take another. But, but I believed in miracles because I believed in God. And, and I, I went with him and I prayed for his uncle and we left. A few days later, I heard from him again. Great testimonies of the healing wow. of his uncle. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, yes. I, I believe, believe in, in miracles, miracles because, because I, believe I believe in God. In God. Put your hands together for such a powerful word by our father and our flow church pastor, Bishop Dyke. You know, I feel, I feel my faith is stirred up. Yes. And I feel a, a stronger belief in miracles. You know, as the service was going on, um, um, one of my friends here in the studio said that, you know, after this service, let's go to the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yes. oh, yes. Oh, yes. And it sounded like a joke, but I, I know the person is very serious. <laughs> because he believes in miracles, because, because he, he believes in God. God. What a powerful, powerful, powerful message. Look, my brothers and my sisters, you know, I want to encourage you that, you know, let, let's believe in miracles. Miracles are so real. Very, very real. I, I have been blessed to... Um, and be with our Flow Church pastor on Healing Jesus campaign. And I have seen so many fantastic miracles, so many wild, you know, that I, I don't know any miracle that's in the Bible that I have not seen at the Healing Jesus campaigns with um, um, our Flow Church pastor, Bishop Daggywood Mills. You know, because he's a man who believes in miracles. Yes. And he believes in miracles because he believes in God. I want to encourage you at home, wherever you are, that believe in God. Believe in God by believing in the miracles that he can do. Somebody is at home somewhere and you are, you are, you are not well. And you feel, you are starting to believe and think that you, you are going to die. I want to encourage you that don't, don't believe that you are going to die. Rather believe in miracles because you also believe in God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. I, I believe I'm, I, I'm, I'm prophesying to somebody right now. Oh, no. I mean, I hope really you sent it to that person who was in the hospital. It's, it's not too late to share. It's not the end of the service. I have a very special surprise for you. So at this point, even at this point, share the link. Share the link to somebody because I'm, I'm, I'm about to take you to, to, to a fantastic place right now. In the Flow Church, we like to go places. Oh, yes. We travel all around the world. But I want to encourage you. I want to encourage you that keep believing in God and keep believing in miracles. They brought the sick with divers Hallelujah. 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 Beautiful, beautiful. You know, maybe you are watching today and um, um, you are watching right now. And I mean, we are shouting and screaming, I believe in miracles, I believe in God. But you, you want to be honest with me, you don't actually believe in God. At least you did not believe in God until you heard this very powerful message. I want to, I'm privileged to give you the opportunity to now believe in God and also to receive God. You know, there's a very powerful verse in the Bible, John, I think, 1.12. It says, but as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. Today, you have the opportunity and you have the chance to become a son of God. And you can become a son of God or a daughter of God by receiving Christ today. You are in your kitchen. You are at work. You are going in the car on a journey. You are at home. It is a good place and a good time for you to receive God today. The Bible says if you believe, that's believing God like we heard today, and you receive him, you will be saved. I want to give you the opportunity at home today to receive Christ and to become a child of God. So if you are here, you are at home, and wherever you are, and you are watching, and you would like to receive Christ into your life, I want you to say this very powerful prayer with me. I want you to repeat after me. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, Dear Lord, Lord Jesus, I come to you today. I come to you today. Just as I am. Just as, as I am. As a sinner. As a, as a sinner, as a bad person, as a bad person, as someone who has done much wrong, as someone who has done much wrong. But Lord, but Lord, today, today, 
I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in your miracles. I believe in you. I believe in your word. I believe in your word. I believe in your love. I believe in your love. I believe in your blood. I believe in your blood. And I believe in your salvation. And I believe in your salvation. Save me today, Lord. Save me today, Lord. Wash away my sins. Wash away my sins. Cancel all my bad things. Cancel all my bad things. With your blood. With your blood. Make me clean. Make me clean and make me whole again. And make me whole again. I receive you, Jesus. I receive you, Jesus. Please write my name. Please write my name. And and say your full name. Say, please write my name, Leonard Hyde. Please write my name, In your book of life. In your book of life. That one day, that one day, I will join you in heaven. I will, I will join, join you in heaven. heaven. Thank you for this great Thank salvation. You Thank you for this salvation. great salvation. In the name of Jesus. In, in the, the name, name of, of Jesus. Jesus. And everybody said and typed, amen. Amen. Amen and amen and amen. Amen. Oh, yes. What a great, great thing. What a great You are watching today and you said this very powerful prayer from the bottom of your heart to receive Christ into your life. You know, I'm, 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 I'm very pleased to announce to you that you've taken probably the most important decision no. you can take in this life and I'm, I'm happy and I, I'm, I'm blessed to that you took this decision and I, I, I would like to meet you I'd like to know you I would like you to get in touch with us so that we can help you on this great journey you know in every journey that you take you need somebody to help you on it from when you were born you needed a father, you needed a mother to take you, help you. When you went to school, you needed a teacher. Anywhere you go, any season in your life, there's always a need for somebody to help you. And right now, as you've taken this new step to receive Christ into your life, and it's a now a new season in your life, I and we here at the Flow Church we would love to help you on this new journey and that you have embarked on to receive Christ. So please, please, please get in touch with us, the number... You need to send a message to is on your screen right now. Plus two three three double five zero double six nine six three zero. Send us a message on WhatsApp to this number, and we will be happy, happy, happy to have you yeah. and to speak to you and yeah. to help you on this great journey. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. At this point, I told you I have a very special surprise for you, which is about to come up right now. Um, so get ready for this surprise. I hope you like surprises. Yes, yes. I also like, well, I don't know, well, some surprises. It depends what the surprise is like. <laughs> yes. But right now, you want to take out, you want to send a very powerful offering. Yes. Oh, yes. You know, if, if you believe in God and you believe in miracles, you also believe in offerings. That's right. Oh, yes. So I believe that you believe in offerings. A lot of you missed the first offering. So I know this is your main offering. So make sure in this offering you give both your first and your second offering. Maybe you were there at the first offering. The Bible says, withhold not your hand. Freely give once again. Um, if you're in Ghana, the details are on the screen. There's a mobile money number that you can send your offering to. There's also a bank account number which you can send to. Um, if you are in anywhere else in the world the details are also on the screen if you're struggling to find your country and how to give just type into your browser flowoffering.com and i believe you will see exactly how to give so please give give a good offering give a very powerful offering after such a powerful word oh man i'm blessed i'm blessed you know sometimes miracles happen or sometimes we can provoke miracles. Mm. You understand? When you give, a miracle can happen. Yeah. If you remember the little boy, I, I don't know if the Bible says a little boy or we assume it's a little boy, who gave Jesus his fish and his bread yeah. or his tuna sandwich mm. or his tilapia and sugar bread. Hey. Whatever it is, depending on the country that you're from. Depending on where you're from. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. You know, when that little boy gave, he gave what he had. He gave yeah. of his substance. He gave an offering to Jesus Christ. Jesus used that, used that offering mightily. to He multiplied it and was able to feed so many people. Yeah. What it also means is that that little boy who had a little sandwich also got more than he originally had. Mm. So I want to encourage you to believe in the miracle of giving also. Give and you will receive. So the details are on the screen. No matter the time that you're watching this, maybe you're not watching this live, but you're watching it later on, it is also a good time 
to give an offering. All of you at home, I see you all in the comments. Um, call, call, call Nita, call Linta, call Linta, Shadrach, Lily. Um, give a good offering, AJ. Give a good offering unto the Lord. And let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for another opportunity. Thank you for more and more opportunities. You give us more opportunities because you love us, Lord, and you want us to be blessed. And Father, we pray and we, we take these opportunities wholeheartedly and with great joy. Thank you once again in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Beautiful, beautiful. Continue to give your offerings. I know, I know it, it takes a while for some of you. Do not stop. If you have any issues, just get in touch with us or just keep trying. It will work eventually. I see you all from all around the world. Thank you so much for joining us. And, and now for the surprise I said I had for you. Or you thought I was joking. No, no, I, I don't joke about such things. <laughs> all right, so, so we just came from, um, where did we come from? We came from St. Lucia. Oh, yes, and now we're moving to another island. We're just hopping on the islands. Yes, and I believe it's another blessed time because now we get to hear from our Flow Church pastor personally. You know, he wanted to he wanted to speak to you personally. So, I mean, you could see he had a service with others and with the Flow Church powerfully. But he wanted to, he, he longs, the verse says that I long to impart into you. Wow. And I believe that's the same with our Flow Church pastor. He's always longing to impart into us. So right now, I, I am, I'm transferring directly to the Dominican Republic where our dear Flow Church pastor is and is ready and waiting to speak to you and to speak to me. Be blessed by this time. Wow. Come on. Hello, everybody. Whoa. This is a great blessing to come to you all the way from Dominican Republic right now in Ponta Cana. What a blessing. Um, it's such a blessing to preach the word and it's also a blessing to go around uh, to see the great work that missionaries have done. The missionary work, I believe, is the work that is closest to God's heart because it is the fulfillment of the Great Commission. Uh, I want to say that the Great Commission has not expired. The Great Commission is a command to go. It's a command to teach. It's a command to build the Church of God. And I believe that this Great Commission uh, is a commission which is burning in my heart and must burn in the hearts of all those who love the Lord. In the army, when an instruction is given or a command is given, uh, until another counter command or different command is given, the instruction or the command holds and there's no change. And in our army, the Lord has sent us to go into all the world and He has not changed that. So that commission stands and it stands till today. And I want to encourage everyone who is listening and watching, uh, let us emulate the great works of it. Some of the great missionaries like we carry and Natalie Ram Jatsi who went out as all out self supporting missionaries to to the ends of the world. When William Harry left England, it took him six months on a ship to get to India. And he never returned to, to to England for the rest of his life. He died in India, his wife died in India, all his wives died in India. And uh, his life uh, spent, well spent for God was a testimony and an inspiration to the rest of the Christian world to rise up and attempt to fulfill the Great Commission. I believe that uh, the Great Commission is so fantastic in, in what it asks us to do that many Christians just sort of sit back and say, well really this must be for some extremists or some more radical people who are more like fundamentalists and people who can't find jobs at home, can't find husbands or can't find wife or have some kind of problem at home. Maybe they would like to go out there and do these things. But I believe that it is a message and a commission for every one of us. So if you are watching the, uh, you're watching me, I want to say that Christianity is, is actually an exciting adventure. You know, 
great adventure to really try to obey God. Think about God saying, saying to you, go into all the world. I mean, it must involve tickets, traveling, you know, journeys, adventures, exploration, many things. And that is a true exciting life for someone who decides to take up the cross and who decides to follow the, the mission and the commission and the instructing of our beautiful and loving Savior who came all the way himself on a mission just to save the few of us that would listen. Sometimes I feel sorry and sad about how you know, he came to his home, but his home did not receive him. You know, and you think about it when God, when God was sending Jesus, and when Jesus was coming, he knew that not many people would even receive or believe. You know, but still, he came for the few of us who would believe. So I want to say that no matter how few the people are, and no matter how little the food seems to be, it's worth it because Jesus found it worthwhile to come to this world for just a few people. You know, who would believe. The Bible says he came to his own and his own received him not. But as many as received him, he gave them power to become the sons of God. So God bless you on this amazing flow Sunday. I'm just trying to encourage you a bit, you know, about the patience. Uh, because I believe that that's really what's on God's mind. No matter the distractions from all kinds of characters, you know, the mission still stands and the work must go on. And what we believe from the beginning is still holds and it's true. And it's going to be a great blessing for everyone who gets and has the opportunity to fulfill this great commission. So, all the way from Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic, I bring you greetings. Bring you blessings. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord help you. May the Lord give you the excitement to serve Him and to follow the adventure and the journey that He urges us to go embark on. God bless you. God bless your children. God bless your family. Father, thank you for everyone that is part of this amazing service. Let them be a great blessing and a great increase and a great help by the Holy Spirit for everyone watching who is part of this amazing service in the name of Jesus. Bless my children, bless all the family that you've given us all over the world in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. God bless you from Punta Cana in the Dominican Republic. God bless you. Amen. 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 Wow. 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 I mean, that was short, but that was so loaded. Mm. Thank you so much to our Flow Church pastor, Bishop Dag Hayward Mills, Come for on. such a powerful word. Oh, man. I mean, the prayer alone, God bless you. God bless your children. God bless your family. Type in the comment section, amen. Amen. Man, what a powerful prayer. And you know, the word that he also spoke to us, speaking about missions. Mm. Missions, you know. And he said that, he said to us clearly that, you know, being a Christian or a Christianity yeah. is an adventure. Yeah. It's an adventure. You know, sometimes I remember once somebody asking me that, you know, they don't, you know, what's all this Christianity is boring. Mm. And the, the truth and the reality is that I, I could not relate. I cannot relate. You know, if your Christianity is boring, you may not be in Christianity. Oh, wow. You may not be. You know, once I watched a funny video, a person said that if you go to, if you go to heaven and I'm not there, then you are not in heaven. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. In the same way, if 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 you are you say you're a Christian and it's boring, you may not be a Christian. Ah, sure, sure, yes. Sure, sure. But it's true what he's saying. Christianity, Christianity is an adventure. You know, as the past weeks have been going and we've been watching our father moving from island to island, it's just so exciting. I know some of you before you were saved, before you gave your life to Christ, you also used to move from island to island. I don't know if they still do it, but Back when I was younger, people used to travel to places like um, Malia and Magaluf and um, Ayanapa. Yeah, These are all party islands, yeah. Ibiza and all of this, to go and moving from island to island to go and party. Look, in Christianity, we move from island to island, preaching the gospel, serving God. You know, that is the adventure of Christianity. 
and maybe you are you are bored at home because you are you are not deep into it. You know, I always remember the example that our father Bishop Dad gave us that you know if you are if you are next if you are on the shore or on the pier next to a boat and you put one foot on the boat and you leave one foot on the pier, eventually the boot, boat is going to start moving. Now, unless you jump into the boat or you decide to jump back onto the shore, you'll be stuck between the two. And eventually, they'll move, drift apart and you'll fall into the water. And you can neither enjoy the boat nor enjoy the land. Wow. In the same way, you see, if you are, you are, you are, one leg is in Christianity but one leg is out of Christianity, I can assure you that you, you can never enjoy the adventures of Christianity. I want to encourage you that, you know, let us be in this in this faith. Let us be in this walk. Let us be in this Christianity with both our feet, both our hands, both our everything. Because that is how we are going to enjoy enjoy God. There's a message that our father preached once. It's, it's called enjoying God. Wow. Yes, and I believe we can enjoy God by giving ourselves wholly to this mission unreservedly. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. And one of the ways is through missions. Through missions, you know, um, as he's been speaking about missions for the past week, you know, I believe that it's not just words, but it's a prophecy. It's a very prophetic move. And I believe God is, is in this season, is calling people onto the mission fields. And some of you, you've been, this is about the third or fourth time you've, you've heard something about missions. You, you even know that the Lord is convicting you in your heart. Look, it's time for you. It's not, it's not going to stop. The Bible says that the gift and the callings of God are without repentance, which means that it doesn't stop. It just keeps coming. It keeps coming. It's better for you to just heed to the call sooner rather than later. So maybe you've been hearing about missions for these past few weeks, and, and, and you know the Lord is calling you, and you want to do something. You want to do something. You want to go out there. You want to go to the ends of the earth. You want to go to an island. You want to go to another country. You want to give your life. You want to give your family. You want to give everything. Like the example he gave of William Carey. William Carey sat on a boat for six months to go to India. And he never came back. He was in India until he died, until his wife died, to everything he knew and had died. He had given his life for the Great Commission. And I believe that there are people watching me today who want to do the same. Just a few days ago, I received a message from somebody saying that, you know, they, they want to go. They've been here in our flow church pastor and they want to go. Do not, do not feel that nobody is going. That's the biggest mistake you've made. People are busy trying to fulfill their calling. So make sure that you also fulfill yours. You want to go on missions. You want to serve God. You want to do something for God in any capacity. Get in touch with us. Get in touch with us through this number, which is about to come on your screen. Um, get in touch with us, and we'll do our best to help you. Help you to fulfill this calling. Oh, yes. So get in touch with us. And we will do our best to help you and guide you and lead you to give in yourself wholly. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. At this point, I believe we've reached another important point in our service. And it's time, it's time for communion. Oh, communion. Yes. So make sure you get your communion out um, wherever you are. If, if, if you don't have wine, get some water. You don't have bread. Um, get some biscuits, whatever it is you can get, and let us enjoy this powerful time with our Flow Church pastor as he leads us through the Holy Communion. What a blessing. What a blessing. Oh, my Malay Maranda la Baba Kabolo de Rele Benedere. Hamanda la Mado Kebola de Benedere. Which is broken for you. Drink, this is my blood, which was shed for you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. For my flesh is meat indeed, and my blood is drink indeed. Mm -hmm. The cup of blessing which we bless. It's the communion of the blood of Christ, the bread which we break. It's the communion of the body of Christ. Oh, this is the holy meal, the meal of God. Mm -hmm. It will sustain you, it will make you holy. 
it will give you life when I see the blood. Oh, 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 oh yeah. I will pass over. It's you. time for communion. Please don't eat at this time. We're going to have the Holy Communion. The presence of God is here. Father, we thank you for the body of Jesus Christ. We receive, Lord, at this time power of healing, protection. Lord, we pray every week we are praying, Tuesdays, Fridays, Sundays. We are believing you and trusting you for your power. And as we take part in the body of Christ, we thank you. For the blessing, the blessed cup of blessing and this bread of blessing as we partake of it. May every sickness in us be healed. May we be recovered and restored from every plague, every bad news, every diagnosis, every fearful disease, every virus, every pandemic, every risk. And every danger. Thank you for recovery, for restoration, and for healing. In the name of Jesus, we pray. The body of Jesus Christ. Now, I want to share this communion with you. It's a cup of blessing. Hold your cup. Hold your cup up, your wine, whatever you have. Father, thank you for the cup of blessing. Although there may be a curse in our families, a curse in our house, a curse in our household, maybe even a curse that we brought upon ourselves, As we lift up this cup of blessing, we thank you that as we drink of this, we are receiving a blessing, a true blessing. Thank you that the blessing neutralizes the curse that is present, present in our family, present in our genes, present in our history, present in our ancestors. For your word says that sin entered and passed on to all men. Rama Santola Maga. Every sin that has passed on to us is rejected now because of this blood and is cleansed because of the blood. May our sins be forgiven and may mercy be applied in our case. May every evidence, every testimony, and every accusation against us be neutralized and cancelled in the name of Jesus Christ. We erase our fingerprints and our footprints from every road and path of shame, every road of sin, and everywhere where there is evidence piled up against us by this blood. The greatest of all erasing agents, let all those things be erased and let your blessing come fully into everyone that is participating. The blood of Jesus Christ. The blood of Jesus Christ. Now lift your hands for your blessing. Yes, Lord. 
And Moses said to Aaron and his sons, he said, on this wise, you shall bless the children of Israel, yes. saying unto them, the Lord bless thee. May the Lord bless you Amen. in your houses. Amen. Though there is death yes. walking on the streets, mm. may the Lord bless thee yes, Lord. and keep thee. Amen. The Lord keep thee and protect thee Amen. from the pestilence yes, Lord. that walketh yes. in the noonday mm. and the arrow that flyeth by Amen. night. The Lord make his face to shine upon uh, thee. Approval that you have not had for a long time. Receive that approval now. I receive it in the name of Jesus. And the Lord be gracious unto thee. Yes, Lord. May all your sins be washed away. Amen. As the waves of the sea come and wash the shore. Yes. So also may your sins be washed. Amen. And may there be no evidence yes, Lord. of them yes. forevermore. Yes. May your sins be remembered no more. And may your mistakes not be counted against you forever because of the blood of Jesus Christ. Whatever reason you have given for a bird flying in the air to land upon you with a curse, may that reason be erased by the blood of the Lamb. Amen. May the blessing of the Lord be superimposed yes, Lord. over your life. Yes, Lord. Instead of a flying curse, receive a supernatural blessing. Amen. In place of evil, receive yes, good. Yes. In place of darkness, receive light. Yes. I superimpose the help of God and the blessing yes, of Lord. God yes, Lord. Yes, on Lord. you and the household and the family and the children. Yes. None of your children will go out and bring you bad news. Your seed shall be mighty in the earth. For the Lord blesses your seed and causes your seed to prosper and be righteous. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you. May he change his mind Yes, and give Lord. you approval yes. where there was no approval. Yes, yes. Blessing where there was no blessing. And help where he never helped you. I see the Lord stretching out his hand into I your life it. and helping you yes, and Lord. blessing you. Yes, young boy, young girl, you shall grow up good and right before the Lord. You shall be like a tender plant uh, with a bright eye for the future and become a mighty tree. And the beds of the air shall rest upon you. You shall bring comfort to many, comfort and joy, and rest and blessing to many in the name of Jesus. The Lord give you peace. I command the storms of your life to calm down. I command the quarrels and contentions to calm down. I command every dark and gathering cloud to dispel in the name of Jesus. Receive peace. I, I rebuke it. demons that have surrounded your house, surrounded your dwelling place. I command peace in the house. I command tranquility. I speak to divorce. I say, Go, be gone. I speak to evil and quarrel. I say, Be gone in the name of Jesus. Let help come from heaven. Let help descend from heaven into your mister. The blessing of the Lord keeps you. And the blessing of the Lord walks with you. Walks with and now, yes. may you find favor and be chosen this week. Yes, Lord. Be chosen this week. Chosen. You'll be chosen this week. Chosen. And you'll be selected this week. Yes, Lord. For a good thing. Good thing. Be chosen. Be favored. Be chosen. Be favored. Be blessed. Be, blessed. be selected. Taraba, you will not be deselected. Taramasuku Tarababa. Boholariba. I see a paper with a list and a name being cancelled. It will not be your name. In the name of Jesus, you are declared among the chosen ones that are being chosen this week by the favor of the Lord. Thank you, Father, for 
He that began a good work in us shall bring it to a perfect end. May the Lord bring your life to a perfect conclusion. You will not die abruptly. You will not die suddenly. You will not die prematurely. With ease. In Jesus' name I declare it to be so. Father, we give you thanks and we give you praise. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. amen. Put your hands together for the Lord. Wow. Wow, what such life-giving words and prophecies that have been prophesied over our lives today. I'm so blessed and I'm so equipped. You know, I, I'm so blessed and glad that I've been in church today. You know, I, I, I feel a, a, a sort of con completeness yes. in today's powerful um, 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 service, flow church service. And I, I believe you feel the same. You know, yes, yeah, I feel energized. Somebody's saying energized and edified. You know, I feel like a superhero who's ready to take on the world. I'll tell you. Yes, yes. And it's because the spirit is strong here in the studio. And I believe it's also strong in your home. Powerful. You know, even at this stage, even though you feel like it's too late, it's also good to share the link at this point. Because somebody, somebody has just woken up. Yes. And even though the service is about to end, they can continue watching it even for the next hour or two hours or so on so right now i want to i want to encourage you to share the link right now share the link everywhere so that somebody will be blessed but it's been a blessed service it's been a blessed time i know you've been blessed because i've i've been blessed you know just a few things that i want you to remember i want you to remember that on 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 tuesday tuesday at 4 a.m we will be here right here for the flow prayer meeting with our flow church pastor Bishop Dag Hewitt Mills. So Come make on. sure that you are here at 4 a.m. on Tuesday morning, 4 a.m. GMT, sorry, on Tuesday morning. You know, once I was having the discussion with some people and we were saying, oh, flow, you know, flow prayer on Tuesdays and Fridays. And the person said, no, 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 no. Flow prayer is Mondays and Thursdays because it depends on which country you're uh, on. Yes. To some people, flow prayer is standard Mondays and Thursdays. Um, but to us here in Ghana, it's, it's, it's Tuesday, Tuesdays and Wednesdays. Some of you even watch it on other days. Hey, Fridays. <laughs> Fridays. <laughs> Beautiful. So make sure that at Tuesday, 4 a.m. GMT, or whatever time it is, wherever you are, you tune in right here for the flow prayer meeting. And I believe your week and your day and your life will never be the same again. Amen. Amen. And I also want to specially invite you to, you know, our flow church pastor is having um, one of the um, main conferences um, of the year called the Give Thyself Holy on, Conference. Now. So, starting from the 30th of July to the 2nd of August, you know, register um, and, and come, come all the way to Anakazo Campus in the Equiapim Mampong Mountains in Ghana, and you can be a part of this. But for those of us on Flow Church, you know, by the grace of God, we will be coming to you live and colored during those times so All make right. sure in case you are not able to physically make it at least make sure that you tune in to be able to benefit from such a great time yes. in god's presence amen. amen amen beautiful 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 well we've come to the end of today's flow church service i know you are blessed i know you are happy to see and to hear from our father our flow church pastor Bishop Dagi Odemos, I was too. I was too. So I want to encourage you, just keep sharing the link. Somebody is now waking up. Somebody is about to watch it. So share the link and bless someone's life today. But from us, to, from us today here in the studio, um, we are done. So until next time, until Tuesday, 4 a.m. GMT, let it flow. Come on now. Looking out over the Thank wilderness, I longed for sweet fellowship with my father, whom I love. I have been in battles all week long, fighting in the ministry, fighting for the kingdom of god it left me feeling dry and uncertain oh, oh.
not for what you give me or all the things you do for 